back to the next training vlog. Today is Friday the 24th of July 2020 and this is my confession. No, so today's training vlog is going to be snatch doubles, would you believe, in waves. So I need to up the ante a little bit on the volume of the waves. So I'm going to need to do a little bit more. Uh, tonight I won't up it too much because after that I'm going to do some clean front squat jerks and then I'm going to front squat at least 210 but I'm aiming for 215 tonight for a single I'm feeling pretty strong for that um, Today's this week's training so far has been pretty good I went for a heavy snatch on Wednesday uh, I ate 140 again very easy so I went 130, 140 which was a big jump uh, I didn't feel that, uh, it felt very easy Technique was a little bit off so then we went for 47 and a half and it was just a bit bleh. Um, it feels a little bit heavy off the floor and for the first time in a long time I feel like I just need stronger legs to get better at the lifts because I feel like my technique is finally cut up to where it needs to be. The last time my strength was much higher, my technique wasn't where it needs to be so I wasn't able to fully realise my gains. Now my technique, technique is much better but my strength is not where it used to be. However, getting stronger is not that hard so I'm getting back to where I need to be. So I am... Um, Leg strength would be a priority. So I hit 2.30 for three, which is a three RM. Throw it in there. Um, nah, not 3M. A of this macro cycle. Uh, it's a uh, 3 RM so far, so it was just letting me know, pushing up a little bit. Um, I reckon that puts me at like 255, at least 250, so I'll start working off 250, 255 as uh, working max for sets at 85% or so. I'll be looking for like 20, 25 reps, 15, 25 reps in a session over two weeks maybe, or one week say. And then, uh, so the front squat still kind of falling the same, kind of volume sets and then one heavier day or two now at the moment for most squat sessions as the squat is going up it's kind of two volume sessions then a heavier day so that's looking like kind of over the course of 10 days now as opposed to one week because the weights are getting heavier i can't be going for heavier sets every week now so it needs to be it's kind of like a week and a half so snatching tonight clean front squat jerk front squat and then some customary clean deadlifts uh, i might push them up to a little 220 i'll see how i feel they're feeling pretty strong at the moment. Been doing without a belt just to, uh, you know, why not? Um, snatching will probably be, depends on how I feel. I might go to 135 for a double, or I might leave that for Sunday because I haven't done that yet recently. Very careful. Um, I might just go to 130 for doubles, um, see how it feels. And then the clean front's got jerk. Um, I won't commit to a number right now, but I will let you know after, obviously, because you'll have seen. Uh, if it feels heavy, I won't go too much. Um, I've had it back in some power cleans during the week. Uh, I hit a 180 rack jerk, which was very nice. I'll throw that in there. Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So... In that same session, I did the 140, 180 rack jerk, and getting very close to my goal for the rack jerk of 205 kilos. Uh, I felt like I'd have definitely done 190 that night, which would equal my rack jerk PB. And then all I need to do is push my front squat up a little bit more, keep doing my jerks, focusing on really fast turnarounds in the dip and drive. Um, yep. Okay, I'll see you at about 110 kilos. Also, by the way, if the angle's a little bit weird tonight, I don't have my. Uh, I don't have the our tripod, so I am using a tool trolley. Uh, yeah.
All right. That turned out to be a pretty good session, except for front squats. So I worked up to 127 and a half twice for the snatch waves. Uh, so sometimes with waves, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but sometimes you're better off just going up, even if you feel a bit shit at the start. Um, one of the benefits of the waves, now this is for more experienced lifters, obviously, but um, once you come back around, the second wave almost always feels better. It is for me personally. You just kind of get into a groove. You kind of have that um, high neurological stage. You know, you're, it's almost like post uh, potentiation activation, whatever that um, voodoo magic is, but you're kind of ready to go. So by the third set, the third wave, up to 127.5 was, uh, was pretty good. I probably could have gone 132.5 in the second wave, but by the third wave I planned to go to 132.5, but once I got to 27, I felt like it was enough. I knew I wanted to go kind of heavier on the uh, clean front squat jerk, so I hit 90% in the clean front squat jerk. Was that 90%? I think it was. Um, switch. I think my best ever is 170 for the clean front squat jerk. Or maybe, yeah, I've definitely attempted it anyway, so... Um, Okay, so 85 percent actually, so 170 would be 90%. Uh, I haven't even cleaned jerk on 65 since I started putting the clean jerks again together. Actually, I actually cleaned jerk on 60, so I felt pretty good. Clean was very nice, very happy to clean. Uh, no front squat will be ever harder than the one you do after a clean before a split jerk uh, or any kind of jerk, to be honest. Um, so pretty happy with that. Why did I do clean front squat jerks? Um, so I didn't want to do just clean and jerk singles, as there wouldn't be enough volume in those and I couldn't really go heavy enough yet to get a lot of benefit. So adding in the clean front squat jerk adds some kind of difficulty at a less heavier weight while still making, while still allowing you to go to a little bit heavier. So if I add it back in doubles now in the clean and jerk, so clean and jerk, clean and jerk, I wouldn't be able to go heavy enough because I want to touch every weight to practice every weight because that's not the skill you, uh, you want to leave for too long. So you can definitely drop them like I mentioned and they will come back. But eventually, at some stage, you've got to be pushing towards those weights. So, clean front squat jerk is a good way of getting to heavier weights without maxing. It's kind of a limiting factor, the front squat. So, I got some work in, a little bit of volume, practice my clean and my jerk. A little bit off in the clean, or sorry, in the jerk. So, I was kind of pushing the bar a little bit away at the top. Uh, my right heel was coming off the ground a little bit on the dip and drive, which is something I try and cut out. I'm trying to make sure I was fast in that dip and drive. But obviously, that front squat before the jerk makes it hard to makes your legs fucking makes it hard for you to change that direction. You don't get that speed in, which is something I focus on. Um, still very happy with that. Very happy to clean. Uh, it would have been obviously the jerk would have been a bit better um, if I did do the front squat. I feel like I'm a little bit too arched before I get into the jerk, so then I'm kind of pushing it away and I'm a little bit like this. I'm being locked down. Set like this, nice and straight. But uh, that's why I need to practice a little bit heavier weights rather than going to like 145 for clean jerk, clean jerk doubles. Uh, so obviously, uh, I plan to do a heavier front squat, but after clean and jerk front or clean front squat jerks, there was no point, and it, one seventy felt like a fucking ton. So I left it there. There's no need. It's the back squat that's the prime driver of my um, leg strength at the moment, and that's the one that I need to push. So I probably could have grinded out like one ninety maybe or something, which is. 50 kilos below my max, like there's just no point, there's zero benefit. Uh, so that's one of the kind of important factors we're going to talk about in another video, but don't be a marker for your training when you don't need to be. So obviously you train hard as you can see, but not like a dumbass. Then I pushed the clean deadlifts to 220, so I literally dropped the bar, loaded 220, two sets of three, so they were quite good. A little bit wrong in my upper back, but it's also kind of a position, so it's just a little bit of like mass as opposed to not a, a bad position, but I would like to be a little bit more set in it. Uh, they feel quite okay. Um, so I picked the snatch clean front squat and jerk. It's very happy to clean. Jerk's probably just a little bit fatigued from doing heavier jerks on Wednesday and doing some behind the neck jerk yesterday at 150 for sets. So um, I'll take it, but I'm not that happy with it. But it's a learning process again. Still, um, I'm happy. So like last week when I did 155 clean jerks, obviously you're a lot fresher without the front squat. So that's probably my biggest takeaway from this session is kind of fix the jerk after clean so I can do good jerks the rack now so there's no reason I can't do them after clean especially lighter weights but that will come um need to focus on just digging my toe into the ground for me that's how I keep my heels off the ground um okay I think that's everything from that session uh, I could have gone 172 and a half I think for PB but um 
I hadn't clean jerked 165, I cleaned jerked more than 155 in six weeks, so I thought I'd play it safe. Um, yep, I think that's everything. Um, thanks for watching, really appreciate again the enthusiasm. We're loving making YouTube videos, uh, we've so much stuff to make and we've made so much stuff. Uh, these are, so normally I was making these and put them out the same day, but now they're a week after, which I know it doesn't really matter. I feel like I need to put them out, but obviously it, makes, it doesn't make a difference. Um, so you've seen last week's. This will probably be out Friday, the whatever, uh, the 30th or something, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we've got some good videos coming, a lot more to make. I must make my uh, experience with a vertical dive video. Gonna do a video on Plays Nice Clean, because a lot of people have been asking about that. And uh, appreciate all the comments, likes, subscribers, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.